What is happening guys, welcome back to another video on the Rugby Channel and today we're going to be talking about a new Rugby Challenge 4 update. Uh, we've got screenshots, we've got a potential cover, we have a release date and we have modes and features that's going to be in the game as well. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, this was announced today on the Microsoft website. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the video. Welcome back to another Rugby video. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button to show your support for the channel. And if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed. So please click the notification button so you don't miss out. Okay, so let's basically get straight into it and we'll start looking at some of the screenshots because we've got so much to cover. So as you can see, the first screenshot here shows New Zealand versus Australia. Uh, it really shows off the graphics. It looks really, really good. Well polished, HD and realistic. Uh, some things I've noticed, I don't think the referees are real, uh, which is pretty disappointing. I would have thought that would have been something they might have tried to do, but clearly not. Oh well, we can't really do anything about that one. Um, so up next then we'll just have a look at another one then, uh, which is the women's teams will officially be in this game, which personally I feel like should have been something that introduced into previous rugby games as well. It's been literally weirdly too long without having a women's rugby team or even a mode. Yeah, I think it's about time we finally see that in a game. As you can see here, uh, it looks to be the uh, New Zealand, I think it's the, it's the Ferns. New Zealand Ferns, I think they call the New Zealand women's team. And the Wallaroos, I believe, is the Australian women's team. Uh, so, officially licensed, which is also very good. Uh, so up next then, as you can see, we have England. Obviously, we knew they were licensed anyway, as well as South Africa. Uh, and, yeah, basically, Mauro told you with the ball, showing off the graphics. It looks to be in Twickenham, hence why it's got the official England rugby thing in the background. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we're getting some uh, official stadiums in this game as well. Up next then, we have uh, Fiji versus uh, the All Blacks, I do believe. Yes, it is. Uh, it looks to be in Fiji as well, so Fiji Stadium will be in this game, uh, which is very good as well. Um, yeah, the graphics, i got to say, look pretty impressive. And as you can notice as well, they have official rugby boots, so the Adidas ones are on the New Zealand players. Um, and then there's some on the Fiji players as well. I can't really make out what those boots are. Uh, but yeah, official brands in this game as well, which is pretty good. Uh, next, um, as you can see, kicking mechanism looks basically the same, uh, which i got to say I'm pretty disappointed about. I would have expected something new and, you know, just something different. I've, I've never really liked the kicking mechanisms since probably Rugby 08. The EA Sports ones were pretty good. Um, it is what it is, uh, but literally the animation and everything is exactly the same as Rugby Challenge 3, so I was a little bit disappointed in that. Otherwise, it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, so up next then... We have, bear with me, there we go, uh, so Fiji player face scan, uh, looks really detailed to be fair, the, literally you can see the stubble and every single bit of hair, uh, which is pretty impressive, uh, as you can see an empty stadium as well, so I don't know what that's about, uh, maybe it's just showing off the face scan more than anything, uh, looks nice, I have to admit, looks very very nice. Next up then, we have a really cool screenshot that almost looks like a real photo uh, of New Zealand versus Fiji. Uh, obviously it's just a scrum mechanism. Uh, you can see in the background as well, uh, it's got Fiji Airways, so they've obviously got the official sponsors and everything for Fiji, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I do believe the rugby ball is officially sponsored by uh, different brands as well, uh, again, which is awesome. Uh, so we have a lot of brands introduced into this game, real life uh, HD graphics as well, which is really cool. Um, not really showing too much off of, as of licensing right now at the moment though. Up next then we have another screenshot of what I believe is the English Premiership. Uh, I do believe, I'm pretty sure let me zoom in on that for myself, yeah it is the English Premiership. Uh, so, English Premiership will be in this game, which is absolutely awesome and it's also something that you wonder how they've managed to get that and the England license when the English English Premiership was in Rugby 20. Uh, so who knows, that mean, might mean we have more licenses than expected. Uh, so I think that's quite a good move. Uh, it was obviously very, of one of, it's kind of like one of those things I was always on the list that everybody wanted to have. If England were in the game, they wanted to have the English Premiership teams, which is understandable. Uh, so it's nice to see they actually have that as well. 
Uh, so up next then, as you can see, is a kicking anim well, a kicking picture then screenshot. Uh, so as you can see, Adidas on the official rugby ball there uh, of the All Blacks and their All Blacks new kit of 2020, I do believe. Uh, and yeah, nice stadium, nice graphics. You can see the grains of grass on the pitch. Uh, looking good, looking good. Uh, next up, we have a final screenshot then, which is Australia versus New Zealand. Uh, again, just showing off the graphics and everything. Not really too much to go on with this one. Uh, but official boots, official brands, looks to be the official Aust one of the official Australia stadiums anyway. Uh, so yeah, looking nice. Uh, so now up, we have some modes to discuss. So this should be interesting. Uh, so as you can see, let's have a look. So ready for cross kick? For ready for the cross kick, right? Uh, new catch your rivals off guard using set plays of ten different moves, including cross kick. Okay. So set plays will be introduced into this game. Obviously, previous Rugby Challenge games didn't have set plays. Uh, and Rugby 20 was one of the first ones to do that since like Rugby 08 and all. So that's pretty good. Uh, women's Sevens Rugby with 16 international teams, including five licensed teams. That should be quite cool as well. Uh, obviously, it was speculation about Sevens being in the game because uh, they never mentioned it. So now, basically, we've got to confirm Sevens will be in Rugby Challenge 4. Uh, next up we have uh, make the ultimate rugby player with both kit creator and enhanced player creator That is awesome. Uh, I would was kind of hoping to see something like that uh, One thing I am unaware of though is logo creator I've always wanted to see a logo creator introduced into a rugby game, but cr kit creator is a good start uh, Obviously it was very annoying with rugby challenge 3 having to just prick like pick uh, preloaded kits uh, so, yeah, I think it's a good move that you can finally adjust colours and everything and make it yourself. Uh, logo creator would have been cool, but there's no mention of it as of yet. And a new enhanced player creator, I think that's something that really needed to be done. Because uh, I don't know if you guys noticed when you're playing Rugby Challenge 3, uh, say if you're trying to create yourself or somebody with short hair, literally they, they end up all looking the same. So I think that's a good move. Uh, so next up we have AI formations and improved positioning of players making the game more realistic and challenging for those experienced rugby heads. That's pretty cool as well. AI uh, was always quite annoying with Rugby Challenge 3. Uh, so good move. Uh, next up we have new sideline camera angle and drop goal camera allowing for closer simulation for a real uh, for a real broadcast view. Sorry guys, my text is a bit weird on this computer. Uh, so yeah, they basically got like a television sort of camera set up now for angles, which is pretty awesome. Um, we I've recently seen that in previous rugby games as well. I'm pretty sure it was in Rugby Challenge 3. I may be wrong. Um, but little things like that obviously are a big deal. So uh, Cross-platform fan hub, that is awesome. So PC gamers and everything will be able to make all this stuff. Uh, share, download and rate players and teams using the famous fan hub across all platforms. All star commentary, I think the commentary team is exactly the same, yes it is. Uh, then also we have, uh, let's have a look, uh, multi -ga multiple game modes including single match, multi team competition uh, on extent of multi year career modes. Uh, be a pro mode. Okay, so there's career mode, get to be a pro mode, uh, there's competition modes, and basically everything that was in Rugby Challenge 3. So, awesome. Hopefully it's a new uh, sort of career mode, uh, as in like dialogue would be cool, but realistically, something that just makes you feel like you're being the player, uh, rather than just like make a player and only get to play as him. So, I think that would be cool if they could do that. Um, then, what else have we got? So over 12 prestigious competitions, including the new Women's Sevens Rugby, uh, Premiership Rugby, Super Rugby, Men's Sevens Rugby, and the Curry Cup, or even create your own tournament. Okay, so as of tournaments, there's not too many licenses, uh, but you will get to create your own, so I guess that's something. Um, yeah, I kind of expected that, so there's nothing new there, but there are some cool game modes introduced on here, uh, and some cool new stuff as well. Um, Let's get on to the next one to talk about then, which is the official release date, uh, and that is supposedly the 16th, so in six days time, apparently, uh, whether it is or not, I don't know, uh, but yeah, Microsoft is saying it's the 16th 
of this month, which is July 2020. You might have to hold me on that. It might not happen because uh, obviously they have a habit of like postponing release dates and stuff. So yeah, there's Microsoft are saying that's the release date. But like I said, I wouldn't make that official until they actually say. Next up, then we have approximate size of the game, and that is going to be 20.46 gigabytes. Uh, quite a biggish game. Rugby 20 only had like six gigabytes, something like that, I think it was. Uh, so that's uh, it's a bad thing, but it's also a good thing. It's like Whenever you get a game, it's like, oh great, I've got it's got all this memory, and like if you're low on memory and stuff, it's annoying. But by having a high gigabyte game, uh, it also means that there's a lot of stuff on there. There's good graphics and so on. So it's it's a good thing rather than having a low gigabyte thing, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good, and it's not a hell of a lot, like a hundred gigabytes or stuff. Some games do have that. Uh, and finally, then we have a apparent. Uh, cover photo for the game, which I have to point out, I'm quite disappointed with. Uh, you're looking at this like, oh yeah, it's got the real rugby challenge sort of feel to it, but you gotta admit, in this generation, PlayStation 4 approaching PS5 with graphics of this style, surely they could have come up with a different sort of cover art. Sports games don't really have this sort of cover art, and that's what kind of bugged me when I saw this. Whether this is an official picture or just sort of like a picture just for press release. Um, I don't know, but some pinpoints I want to mention with this is for some reason, if you zoom in onto Owen Farrell's face, he has been stretched. Literally, his face has been stretched. I, I know it's because I'm doing photo editing and stuff. You can tell when uh, a picture has been stretched, like put there and stretch it across. Uh, and something else that I want to notice is uh, the New Zealand player next to him. Uh, it's not a very good sort of uh, cutout to put in there because as you can see, the white above his hair is also uh, featured there and if this is meant to be your cover photo it looks pretty poor to be honest with you like don't get me wrong the artwork's good uh, but I'm not a fan of all the players running like that so I'm really hoping this isn't the cover photo but it is what it is that's all I can say on that one uh, and yeah thank you so much for watching guys I probably will leave it there uh, this game looks quite exciting graphics look amazing we have women's rugby English Premiership is in it and the expected date is very, very soon of this month. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy. Please let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you thought of this. Are you excited for Rugby Challenge 4? Do you reckon it's going to be the very, uh, very similar to Rugby Challenge 3? And do you reckon it's going to be the same? Are you disappointed? Just let me know your general opinion in the comment section of what you think of all this news. I'm intrigued to know what you guys think. Uh, and if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe as well. I upload rugby videos every single week, guaranteed, covering everything to do with rugby. Literally everything. Uh, so rugby video games, literally finding the weirdest crap that you find online of rugby items and making videos on that. Talking about rugby history, rugby games, and so on. So if you're a big rugby fan or a sports fan, please, please, please go ahead and subscribe right now. It literally takes like five seconds, so please go ahead and do that. Uh, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Andrew. I will see you in another video. Peace out, guys. You don't need to be prince charming to me. I just need this to be real. I don't need no fairy tale. You don't need a killer. Dragon for me. Whatever it is, I keep on trying Cause it ain't hard to forget